Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Spring System-Wide Virtual Commencement Ceremony of Washington State University. The processional will now begin. Entering the Coliseum and leading the processional is Faculty Senate Chair Dave Turnbull, bearing the University Mace, a traditional symbol of authority. His honor guard includes Curtis Cohen, the Associated Students of Washington State University President and Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association. System-wide, we will recognize students from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences with 254 undergraduates, which includes 42 from the School of the Environment, a joint program between the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences and the College of Arts and Sciences with 18 masters and eight doctoral graduates. The College of Arts and Sciences with 633 undergraduates, 16 masters and seven doctoral graduates. The Carson College of Business with 373 undergraduates, 38 professional degree candidates and three doctoral graduates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication with 169 undergraduates, eight masters, and two doctoral graduates. The College of Education with 176 undergraduates, 33 masters, and six doctoral graduates. The Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture with 291 undergraduates, 25 masters, and two doctoral graduates. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine with nine undergraduates, 14 masters, and 11 professional degree candidates. In the first graduating class of medical doctors. The College of Nursing with 52 undergraduates, two masters, and 22 doctoral graduates. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences with 24 professional degree candidates and one doctoral graduate. And the College of Veterinary Medicine with 59 undergraduates, one master's and three doctoral graduates. All will be Cougar alums. Now entering the President's Platform Party made up of Washington State University College Deans, a Regent, the Provost and the President. Gina Vasquez, ASWSU President, Global Campus. Andre Dani Wright, Dean, College of Agricultural, Human and Natural Resource Sciences. Todd Butler, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. 
Chip Hunter, Dean Carson College of Business, Bruce Pinkleton, Dean, the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication, Michael Trevison, Dean, College of Education, Lisa Gloss, Dean, Graduate School, Mary Rizak, Dean, Boylan College of Engineering and Architecture, M. Grant Norton, Dean, Honors College. Mary Coithan, Dean, College of Nursing. Mark Lead, Dean, College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. William Davis, Associate Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Brett Blankenship, WSU Regent Chair. Elizabeth Shelton, Provost and Executive Vice President. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. The National Anthem will be performed by Julie Ann Wick, Associate Professor, School of Music. Please be seated. The Washington State University alma mater, Washington My Washington, will be performed by WSU choral students Kayla Ray, Bryce Weber, and seniors Christina Gomnitz and Jared Peterson. The virtual performance was created by Bryce Weber. Washington My Washington my songs of memory that we sing today. When the sad hours come to you and sorrows round you play, just sing the songs of Washington, the crimson and the gray. Just sing the songs of WSU family and friends, please welcome Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Good morning, Coug Nation. Welcome and congratulations to our new graduates, the class of 2021. Can I get a big hearty go Cougs? 
I say these words from the bottom of my heart. For you have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history to reach this milestone moment in your life. Graduates, as we gather today for this celebration, I'm inspired by your undertakings and ambitions. You have accomplished much in nearly every academic field imaginable. You have big dreams for the future. We enthusiastically welcome you to the ranks of WSU alumni, and we send you into the world that greatly needs your minds and your hearts. Current events remind us there is so much happening in the world that needs fixing. Disease, extreme poverty, religious strife, sexual discrimination, unimaginable violence. The list is long. But I'm here today to tell you that there are many reasons for hope. The cougar spirit that defines this great university and binds us together is one of the main reasons I feel hopeful about the future. That spirit, reflected by a never say die and a willingness to work hard to succeed no matter the obstacles, bodes well for our own life success and for the betterment of our society. It's a spirit that you, the class of 2021, have demonstrated day in and day out on your path to this moment. It's a spirit I've observed every day for the past five years I've served as WSU's president. It's a spirit of hopefulness reflected in the good work being done by our faculty, students, and staff, by our alumni, and by our friends. The examples of compassion, dedication, selflessness, patience, and kindness I witness every day inspire me and humble me. Without a doubt, the world needs your cougar spirit more than ever. And your willingness to confidently step up and tackle our shared challenges fills me with hope. Hope for today and hope for our future. In my role, I've met many of you and you're absolutely incredible and amazing. Noel and I have had many of you to our house for dinner and receptions. We've taught you in classes. We've cheered for you on stages and in athletic competitions. Interacting with you is one of the great joys of serving as a university president. Am I an optimist about our future? Yes, there's no doubt about it. But I see the world that way because I know how hard this community and all of you, our 2021 graduates, work to succeed every day. The potential is unlimited. As we celebrate today, let us look to each other for continued inspiration in the years ahead. May WSU and the Cougar family continue to be your fountain of hope as we face the future united in spirit. Congratulations, graduates, and let me get a go Cougs, no matter where you are. The WSU Board of Regents is the university's governing body, and it gives me great pleasure to ask the Regent Chair, Brett Blankenship, to the podium. Thank you, President Schultz. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. It is indeed a great day to be a Coug. What an honor to be with all of you today to celebrate your success at Washington State University. A little bit about me. Many of you, um, one, of, one of the best kept secrets about me is I, I was trained as a pianist. So when I was graduating like you, I was a music major. When you're a pianist, you always wind up you always wind up studying Beethoven before you get a degree. And one of the greatest Beethoven artists in history was a fellow named Arthur Schnabel. The question was posed to him one day, how do you play all those notes? And how do you remember all those notes? And he whimsically replied, he said, uh, almost Almost any pianist can play the notes, but it's the space between the notes. That's where the art resides. So the art is not always the obvious part that other people see, but it's the unseen things. So as you choose your path forward in your field of study, you will often be faced with two choices, the expedient thing and the thing that brings you meaning. My hope for you is to choose the path of meaning. Find meaning, and you will find the art that Mr. Schnabel referred to. 
and as you personally define what brings you meeting, other choices will come your way. Being comfortable or growth. Choose growth. Every person on this platform with me today has made those choices. Many had other positions, and they were just fine where they were. They were successful on, before they came here, and they were brilliant at what they did. But a person who always seeks the best has a certain restlessness, and that is growth. So if you ever find yourself getting bored and your job becoming routine, you've stopped growing. Find a way to continue to grow. And sometimes it's as simple as comparing yourself to who you were yesterday rather than comparing yourself who someone else is today. Continue to learn. Continue to find meaning. Continue to seek growth. Do those things. And you won't need to find success. Success will find you. Life then becomes art. And when success finds you, indeed, that is where the art resides. So on behalf of all the regents, past and present, it's my honor to wish you the very best today. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing WSU. Go Coops. Please join me in recognizing our regents and the important role they play in guiding our university. Now I turn the program over to Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President of Washington State University. Provost Chilton. Well, hello graduates. It's an honor to join you for this historic celebration of your accomplishments at WSU and to welcome you as alumni of this great university. This is a particularly special spring commencement for me since this is my first as the Chief Academic Officer for the WSU system. We plan on celebrating with you again when we can have in-person ceremonies and all are invited to return to attend in person. We look forward to the regalia, the tassels, the graduation march, and the celebrations with family and friends. I imagine that your final semesters at WSU will be remembered as an extremely challenging and stressful time. And I'm sure that you, will, you, that you never imagined that your final months at WSU would include many hours of Zoom sessions, wearing face masks, and attesting that you're not sick or even self-quarantining. We will remember the resilience and the dedication shown by Coogs time and time again I have come to know and appreciate our tight-knit and supportive Coog community, even in the face of challenges, unlike anything any of us have experienced before. I know that you've received a world-class education here at WSU, and your time here has prepared you for your future careers and for your lives. We all know that life is not a straight line, and I am confident that you are well prepared to face all the many twists and turns ahead of you. As you graduate from WSU, please remain your Coog spirit. Even if you're not on campus or in classes every day, be proud to wear crimson and gray. Come back to campus, visit your professors, and cheer on your fellow Cougs. A major part of the university experience is to expand the network of people who are invested in your success. Take heart in knowing that as a WSU alumnus, you are a valued member of an incredible network of people. I hope you'll find that Coogs, helping Coogs doesn't just apply during your time as a student, but throughout your life. Finally, as one of the newest members of the WSU community, I am proud to say to all of you, go Coogs. Hello, I'm Sandra Haynes, Chancellor at Washington State University Tri-Cities, here on the banks of the beautiful Columbia River. I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to WSU Tri-Cities graduates. 
I am so pleased to be here today to help you celebrate, albeit yet again in an unconventional manner. Regardless of how we celebrate commencement, it is a very special occasion for us all. For faculty and staff, it is a time to salute the achievements of our graduates. For families and friends of the graduates, it is a time of joy, celebration, and pride. For the graduates, commencement marks the attainment of a goal and the transition to another phase of your life. Graduates, this is your day. Enjoy and celebrate. It is no small feat to successfully complete a university degree and especially to do so with all of the additional complications COVID-19 suddenly brought to our lives. You should all be immensely proud. Here at WSU Tri-Cities, as across the WSU system, you have learned from some of the best professors and instructors in your fields. Use what you have learned from these individuals in making your next decisions, both big and small. There is a reason and a purpose behind what you have learned in each of your classes. Continue to share what you have learned here at WSU. Knowledge has no use when kept to one person. It is meant to be shared, multiplied, and spread so that more can benefit from the revelations that have been made in the decades past and in recent years. Throughout your time at WSU Tri-Cities, you have been fortunate to study among a truly diverse population of individuals. More than 40% of our students identify with minority groups, and we have students from more than 20 countries around the world. Like using the knowledge you have gained from your classes, use what you have learned and experienced with your peers to make our community, our democracy, and our world a better place. I want you to know that your perseverance and resilience is commendable. You finished your degree during unprecedented times and through unpredictable changes to everyday life. I hope you take that tenacity with you wherever you go after today's commencement and take considerable pride as a member of the Cougar Nation. Congratulations again to each of you. And as always, go Cougs! Now to welcome the Tri-Cities class of 2021, I am pleased to introduce Jennifer Johnson, President, Graduate and Professional Student Association, Robin Kovis, President, Associated Students of Washington State University Tri-Cities, and Doug Wilcox, President of the Washington State University Alumni Association. Jen. Good morning, WC graduates. As president of the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at Washington State, I wanna say that on behalf of the GPSA, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. It is a remarkable accomplishment, especially for you all who have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history. No one thought our final semesters at WSU would include sitting in countless Zoom sessions, wearing face masks everywhere, or self-quarantining. But in continuing to tackle these challenges, we have demonstrated how strong and adaptable we are. I am honored and proud to be such a be a part of such a resilient student body. It is a pleasure to speak to all the graduate and professional students receiving their degrees today. You are a part of a special group that has chosen to spend the past 20 plus years in education so that you may help solve the problems of the future. It may not feel like it, but you're all experts in your respective fields. I'm sure your first thought of that notion, like me, is one of terror, but this process was designed to challenge how you plan, how you think, how you work. You have met those challenges and you have endured. You have come out on the other side, able to tackle the most difficult problems this world has to offer. While this is likely the end of school for most of you, do not let this be the end of your education. Moving forward, you'll go on to guide cutting edge research, you'll advance life-saving technology, you will fight for social justice causes, and you will positively contribute to the global community. With your newly developed skills and leadership, I implore you to use them for good. Help lift up those around you who have not been fortunate enough to have had the same opportunities. 
to the undergrads, thank you for your spirit, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to learn alongside us. To the graduate and professional students, your work and efforts have been impactful. You have paved the way for the next group to continue to make meaningful contributions. My hope for every one of you is that the challenges and triumphs you face during your graduate experience continue to shape and influence you wherever life takes you next. Commencement represents the completion of one chapter and the beginning of a new one just as promising as the last. Enjoy this moment. Once again, congratulations on your academic achievement. GPSA wishes you the best of luck moving forward. Go Cougs. Hey Cougs, congratulations on making it to this monumental day. Commencement is something I have certainly been looking forward to for some time, and I'm sure it's the same for all of you. The task of earning a college degree is no easy feat, and the trials and tribulations we have all faced over this past year have only added to the challenge. However, these additional obstacles you've overcome should only sweeten the reward. I hope that you all take some time today to reflect on and celebrate the challenges you've overcome to get here. Additionally, we should seek to celebrate all of those who have helped us in this journey. I know for a fact that I wouldn't be here today without the support and mentorship of family, friends, faculty, staff, and administration. So to the collective support network of all WSU graduates today, thank you. As we move forward to the next great venture in our lives, undoubtedly, there is a level of uncertainty. The traditional post-graduation ambiguities have been compounded by a global pandemic, unsustainable political polarization, and glaring inequalities across our society. These obstacles may seem daunting. However, all of us here today have the capacity and ability to enact changes both large and small for the collective betterment of our future. So celebrate your accomplishments today and every day moving forward. Do not be dissuaded by doubters and naysayers because you have proven you have what it takes. After all, you've managed to finish your higher education journey in spite of a global pandemic and everything else going on in the world. In closing, I challenge all of my fellow Cougs to remember your accomplishments, carry that momentum forward, and be the change that you wish to see in the world. Quoting the wise words of Benjamin Franklin, the noblest question in the world is, what good may I do in it? Once again, congratulations and go Cougs. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my honor to be among the first to welcome you to the Cougar Alumni family, a family that is over 215,000 strong. The next few years are full of promise and opportunity, and having the support of the Cougar family during this time is critical. To get your life after graduation started, we are proud to give you a free three-year membership. The Alumni Association has 54 chapters and clubs across the United States, making it easy to find and stay connected to your fellow Cougars wherever you go. You can find the chapter and club contacts on our website or on Facebook. This vast Cougar network, network wants to help you succeed in your career and personal pursuits. Once again, congratulations and go Cougs. Thank you, Jennifer, Robin, and Doug. Hello, graduates. This is Dr. Noel Vest, current research fellow at Stanford University's School of Medicine and proud WSU Tri-Cities alumni from the class of 2013. As a first-generation college student and formerly incarcerated scholar, I am truly honored to give this commencement message. Today, I would like to share two stories from my life two little snippets of my educational journey. The stories embody the role of expectancy and motivation in our educational journeys. One story, the power of a mother's love, and the other story focuses on the power of leadership. In the first story, it centers on a conversation I had with my mom while I was in the Clark County Jail in 2006. The story actually begins much earlier. You see, my biological dad had left when I was five years old, and I imagine that I was confused and sad. In that time, I grew a bond with my mom that never faded, a special bond, a mother and son bond. My mom knew that I was sitting in prison day in and day out, searching for meaning in a life that I had surmised was already over. I was three years into a seven year prison sentence and contemplating how I would ever survive once I was released. Through the glass, my mom looked into my eyes and asked what was troubling me. I looked at my mom and I said, Mom, 
I'm ashamed and broken. I don't know how this happened. I just want to go back 10 years and fix it all. She said, well, wish as you may, you can never go back, but you can go forward. What would you change if you could? I answered simply, my addiction. I would learn, study, and try to understand addiction inside and out. In that moment, she looked at me and she said, well, it sounds to me like you found your life's purpose. The loving and kind words from a mother's heart, a message to her son to go forward and move mountains. Well, I can say that I have not moved mountains, but 10 years later, I have found a purpose in life and a passion for learning. I didn't see it then, but my addiction to drugs and alcohol was the best thing that ever happened to me. The world's way of saying there was something bigger. Sometimes life's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Don't shy away from it, embrace it, learn from it, and find purpose in it. You can't understand the future without understanding the past. Call it a gut feeling, call it karma, call it divine intervention, call it whatever you want. But you have to believe that it will work itself out and that your future would never be will it, what it will be without the perspective of the past. The next story begins in a classroom, a classroom in the CIC at WSU Tri-Cities. It was there that I met a mentor that would change my life forever. A professor who believed in me when I was not sure I could believe in myself. A professor who took me under their wing and eventually showed me how to fly. I am sure that many people listening can relate to this experience of an educator going outside of their traditional role and putting on a superhero's cape. My superhero was Dr. Sarah Tregresser. She would eventually become my graduate school mentor at WSU. As my mentor, she was tasked with guiding me through the thesis and dissertation writing process. Along the way, I'd come to a frustrating point in that process when I could not decide which research design was the best fit for my project. I needed answers, I wanted answers, and I wanted my problem to be solved. I was frustrated. Dr. Tregresser met my frustration with calmness and said to me, Noel, I can give you the answer if you'd like, or I can challenge you to go back to the literature and find the answer for yourself. I thought long and hard before answering, and then I begrudgingly said, let me find the answer on my own. It was in that moment that I learned one of the most important lessons in life, and it was this. Leadership is not expertise. Leadership is a commitment to the inherent power, the life-changing transformation of constant education. You, the class of 2021, you will not be remembered for enduring COVID. The class of 2021 will be known as the class of overcoming, the class of resiliency. It is your time to shine. You are the pride of your families, your friends, and your communities. You weren't promised this day. You had to fight hard to earn it. Congratulations to you all it is time to chart a new path. It is time to chase your dreams. Thank you, and go Cougs. Today, we celebrate with a total of 2,263 students participating in the system-wide virtual commencement. There are 30 students from Everett, three from Olympia, 211 global, 1,554 from Pullman, 103 Spokane, 115 Tri-Cities, and 247 from Vancouver, representing 154 different degree fields. The candidates for advanced degrees will be presented by Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. I add my sincere congratulations and best wishes to all of the graduates whose accomplishments we are celebrating today. In particular, I want to recognize the tremendous achievements of our graduate students that completed their degrees this spring semester. Pursuing an advanced degree is a life-changing path. 
This journey is often difficult and stressful, but I hope you also found it to be a journey of self-discovery and growth personally, intellectually, and professionally. Please remember to celebrate that your journey was also important to the growth of the knowledge base, research, and scholarship that will benefit the human race in so many different ways. That's what graduate student scholarship is about, participating in the research that writes the textbooks for the next generation. This commencement is a celebration of the completion of an important phase of your life path. From where you stand now, there are so many different fulfilling paths that you can follow. That is an exciting, amazing vista, but also probably unsettling uncertain. Don't forget to pause and savor this moment in your accomplishments. You made it. You're ready for that next step in your path. You've shown remarkable resilience, perseverance, and dedication. Earning a master's or doctoral degree isn't an easy time at any time, but you've been successful during some of the most challenging situations that a graduate student might ever encounter as you weathered the many personal and professional impacts of life in the time of COVID-19. I sincerely miss the opportunity to shake your hand, hand your diploma, and share your enthusiasm and joy as you celebrate this milestone. Many of my happiest memories as the graduate dean and as a faculty member are from the celebrations as part of commencement ceremonies. I want to emphasize again, congratulations, and please know that we, the WSU faculty, staff, administration, and your fellow students, we are proud of you. President Schultz, from the Graduate School, I am pleased and privileged to present to you the degree candidates for the Professional Science Masters, the Masters Candidates, and the degree candidates for the Doctor of Education and the Doctor of Philosophy. The College of Arts and Sciences, presented by Dean Todd Butler. Good morning, and congratulations, CAS Cougs. No matter where you are or who might be with you today in body or spirit, you have much to be proud of. This year has been like any other, and that you have persevered to reach this point is a testament to both your individual strength of character and the bonds of community you have built together. But let's not also forget the years before this one, years that were also filled with joy and heartbreak, success and failure, love and laughter. Take a moment to remember the person you were when you first started at WSU and think upon all the experiences and learning that were there before you, ready for the taking. It's pretty amazing. You are now about to begin a new chapter and our more than 700 CAS faculty and staff want to leave you with one important message. This year may have shaped you, but it does not, and will not, define you. And most certainly, it does not represent the limit of what you can accomplish. As graduates of WSU's most multidisciplinary college, you are uniquely prepared to make a difference in our world. When you go out to make your mark, you will not encounter a history problem or an anthropology problem or a chemistry problem. You will instead be challenged to connect your learning and your experiences across multiple dimensions and to consider not just the ways of this world, but your purposes within it. You leave WSU with the breadth and depth of learning to make a real difference and to do things that deeply and truly matter. The path forward may not always be straight or clear, but make no mistake, it is there for you, and you are indeed ready to take it. So as much as we'd like to have you back here with us, we know the world needs you more, and we can't wait to see what you do. President Schultz, I take pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Upon recommendation of the faculty, and by the authority of the Board of Regents and the statutes of the State of Washington, I hereby confer upon each of you who fulfill its requirements the degrees for which you have been recommended with all of the privileges and obligations. Crystal Maddy, Master of Science in Environmental Science. Claudia Arellano, Bachelor of Science in Biology.
Victoria Bender. Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, General Studies. Taylor Birman. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Magna Cum Laude. Kayla Bird. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Andreana Cervantes. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Martín de Aro García. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Maurice de Vers. Bachelor of Science in Biology. G. Ana de Mayo. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Evan Foraker. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Sarah Ford. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Magna Cum Laude. Morgan Forney. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Cynthia Garcia. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Emma Glazier. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. It feels incredible to be an official college graduate. Thank you to my friends and family for supporting me along the way. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Morgan Gosh, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Horn, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Monica Juarez, Bachelor of Science in Sciences General Studies. Mikaela Kinsey, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Magna Cum Laude. Robin Cobis, Bachelor of Arts in History, Magna Cum Laude. Destiny Cheyenne Ledesma, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Stephanie Lopez, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Austin M. C. Hill, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Sofía M. C. Quebec, Bachelor of Science in Sciences General Studies. Danielle Moore, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Joaquín Moreno, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences General Studies. Hannah Nieto, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Naravel Pamplona, Bachelor of Science in Biology. My heart trip thanks to my family and friends, to my parents, my loving husband, and my caring son. I am dedicating this success for you. Alyssa Perez, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Go Cougs! <laughs> Brenda Pineda. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Magna Cum Laude. Hailey Quast. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Jacqueline Ramirez. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Himan Shurana. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Cum Laude. Manuel Riojas, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Esperanza Rivera, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Cum Laude. Andrea Roman, Bachelor of Arts in English, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Rowden. 
Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Jenna Russell, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. M. Matulo, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Madeline Balde, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Chelsea Valencia, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Megan Berbarense, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Stephanie Grace Wangue Warner, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Laura Wilba, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Congratulations to our WSU Tri-Cities graduates and their friends and family. My name is Anna Clemens. I am the Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs here, and it is my distinct pleasure to get to celebrate with you this day. So commencement is always a momentous occasion. It's always a day that I look forward to, and it's always just so fun to have a chance to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. But I have to tell you, class of 2021, you are something special, and we are particularly proud of you. Uh, you have met a challenging moment in history and you have done so with fortitude and perseverance and flexibility and I know that those tools will serve you well and um, that uh, making it to this moment was a big deal. So I thank you in advance for all that you're going to do to change the world. And I also just wanna thank you for choosing WSU Tri-Cities. It has been a privilege and an honor to study and learn with you. And uh, we can't wait to hear what you do next. Thanks and go Cougs. I'm Judy Morrison, Academic Director, College of Education at WSU Tri-Cities. I want to congratulate all of our graduating seniors in our undergraduate program all of our graduating MIT and EDM students and anybody else graduating from our college this semester. Congratulations on all your hard work, your wonderful accomplishments, and we wish you all the best in the future. You will guide. You will listen. You will empathize. You will challenge. You will support. You will learn. You are teachers. Congratulations, College of Education Tri-Cities graduates. You've persevered in your program despite this very challenging past year, and you should feel incredibly proud of yourselves. The learning journey continues as you head into your future classrooms and schools, and you'll make an important difference in the lives of your students. For now, be sure to celebrate this moment and all that you have accomplished. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cougs, and a special thank you to all of our WSU Tri-Cities graduates. It has been a pleasure working with you as you obtained your WSU degree. Go Cougs! Congratulations on your commencement. None of us would have envisioned this situation four years ago, but the resilience and tenacity that you have displayed in achieving your goals has been remarkable. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I hope that you can enjoy this wonderful accomplishment. Congratulations once again. 
Wishing the class of 2021 the best as they celebrate their graduation today. I know how much hard work you've all put into getting here and excited at the myriad possible paths forward for you all, from careers at national labs to graduate schools to so much more. Some of you were among the very first students I taught when I came here to WSU, and I couldn't have asked for a warmer welcome. So I thought I'd try to return the favor in your send off. So congratulations, good luck at there. And remember, you'll always take a bit of WSU Tri-Cities with you wherever you go. And luckily for us, WSU Tri-Cities will always be a bit better for having had the privilege to teach you. Take care and good luck. Graduates of the class of 2021, you've earned your academic degree and are now officially part of the Cougar alumni family. Congratulations and go Cougs. fitting we include this great song in our ceremony one song that unites cougars around the world let's join butch and the cougar marching band in the washington state university fight song go cougs Congratulations again, class of 2021. Now go out and conquer the world, but don't forget that WSU will always welcome you back home. We hope to see you soon. This concludes our ceremony, go Cougs. Honor Guard and Mace Bearer, please lead the recessional.